This is New Cap News with Annika Notvate. Good evening and thank you for joining us. They've been putting it together for the past 14 years. The annual SPCA Dinner Theatre is coming up this week and it's a parody of Ghostbusters. The musical performance brings in huge support for the animal shelter every year. It's a flash from the 80s and it's something different for this cast. It's new to us where we're doing the 80s theme. You can't see anything else like it. Uh, especially with local members in the cast, we have a lot of people that just love it because we do make mistakes and we do flub up and we make references to local things that are around here. So we're not professionals by any means. It's huge for us. It's our biggest fundraiser of the year. Um, it raises, well last year it raised $170,000. So each year it seems to be raising more and more. The great ghost chase takes place in an asylum and that's pretty much all the characters can tell us about it. Jamie Olin plays Honcho. I've based him loosely on a fairly large action character from the 80s. Um, I can't give away a whole bunch more than that. He was muscle bound. But what they can say is, their favorite part is the three decade old music. There's like good songs in this one, I relate to it. Uh, it reminds me of childhood, uh, a lot of stuff out of the 80s. I also like the music. Um, I like all the costumes because I love the 80s. All proceeds go towards the operational costs at the Lloydminster SPCA. And just a note, there's still tickets available at Mel's Hair Shop in Lloydminster for the Wednesday show. And on to another play at Lloyd Comp High School. The drama department is getting into this Christmas spirit by getting out of the Christmas spirit. They're putting a twist on Charles Dickens' Christmas classic. Jeremy Thompson has the story. Some people are more dedicated to this company than others. Tyler Wolf and director Simon Stang go over lines in preparation for their Christmas play Humbug. Wolf plays the lead role and says flipping Scrooge's gender adds an interesting dynamic to the play. It's really sad yet has like occasional bits which are very funny to it as well. Tyler is a grade 12 student. I always like to focus um, you know, my bigger productions around some of my seniors that have been doing it for a few years, ones that I know I can count on. It was like my inner hatred for everything joyful just embedded itself into this character. The drama club is also getting some help from other departments. Humbug is set in modern day New York and the art club and construction class are both donating their time to help build the large set. The more I can get other departments, the better. And as I do more ambitious plays, I'll definitely need more help because I can't do it myself. Working with the drama department and on productions like this gives them a chance to showcase their art in front of an authentic audience. You don't usually see your drama students painting sets and things like that, so our club always likes to help out around the school. All of the students involved with the production are volunteering their time. There's no credit in it, just the credit of enjoying it. Definitely, I think you should come out and see it. It's a Christmas classic told by the story of a bunch of high schoolers. Humbug will be playing at the Lloyd Comp High School Black Box Theatre from December 9th through 11th. For NewCap News, I'm Jeremy Thompson. And just another note about tickets, they'll be sold at the door or can be booked in advance by emailing Simon Stang directly. Now if you're looking for a good way to get into the holiday spirit, Look no further than the border city. A house in town is wowing spectators with a unique mix of lights and sounds. Once again, here's Jeremy Thompson. The sound of music fills the air at this house in Lloyd Minster. It's rigged up so the lights dance along to the beat. It's getting a lot of attention from people of all ages. The lights, the music, the kids in the neighborhood come from all around. My kids make us drive here daily. It's really nice and I like how the lights light up. Over 30,000 lights on 150 different channels have been programmed to dazzle onlookers. But the lights and music aren't the whole show. Owner Jerry Frank has decided to take donations for charity. People just seem to love it, so that's why we do it. And, uh, you know, we figured if people are coming by to see it, why not uh, collect some donations and everything? So we give so the, any money raised to the, uh, the Gift of Christmas and the Christmas Wish Foundations. The kids seem to really love it. They're always pestering the parents. The lighthouse, the lighthouse. It shouldn't take too much pestering. The mix of upbeat techno jams and traditional Christmas songs paired with synchronized lights, many say, is an experience to remember. Jeremy Thompson. Newcap News.